Hi everyone. Welcome back to Signature's Life. Those who are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Gepa Andromedae b is a substellar object in a massive planet or brown dwarf orbiting Gepa Andromedae, the star in the Andromeda constellation, about 170 light years away. The object, nearly 13 times the mass of Jupiter, was directly photographed by the Subaru telescope. There has been considerable debate as to whether Gepa Andromeda b is an exoplanet or a brown dwarf. And, until the question can be clarified, scientists have dubbed it in the Super Jupiter object. Through the strategic exploration of exoplanets and disks with Subaru survey, the Subaru telescope located atop Mount Kia, Hawaii, astronomers were able to photograph Gepa Andromeda b by taking a near-infrared photograph of the parent star and processing it to reduce its light. Between January and July 2012, Subaru observed Gepa Andromedae using four separate infrared wavelengths. And when comparing photographs from January and July, the team of astronomers was able to determine that Gepa Andromedae and Gepa Andromedae b were gravitationally bound. Through these photographs and other research by the Subaru team, a few details about the Super Jupiter object have been revealed. The object's mass has been calculated as approximately 12.8 times Jupiter's mass, the host star's mass as 2.4 to 2.5 solar masses. The temperature of the object is estimated to be around 1700 kelvins and, if seen up close, would appear reddish in color. The object's distance from its parent star is about 1.8 times Neptune's distance from the Sun. It is unclear whether Gepa Andromeda b is a gas giant or a brown dwarf, that is, an object massive enough to fuse deuterium but not protium. Conventional planetary formation models dictate that the lowest expected mass for a brown dwarf is around 13 times that of Jupiter. Gepa Andromeda b has a mass of about 12.8 times that of Jupiter, apparently too small to fuse deuterium in its core. However, according to NASA Discovery team member Michael McElveen, this is indefinitive and other considerations could nudge the object across the line into brown dwarf territory. Analysis of the object's brightness reveals infrared colors similar to those found for other massive image planets like Beta Pictoris b. Further suggesting that Kappa Andromeda b could be a planet rather than a more massive brown dwarf. The primary uncertainty in classifying Gepa Andromeda b is the age of the primary star. In the original discovery paper, Gepa Andromeda was estimated to have an age between 20 and 50 million years, based on its similar kinematics to an apparent membership in the Colombo Association. Optical photometry of the star is consistent with that for stars with these ages as well as those slightly older. Using planet evolutionary models to map between the object's brightness and mass at a given age, a 20 to 50 million year old companion with Gepa Andromedae's properties would have a mass between about 11.8 to 14.8 Jupiter masses. Other properties of the host star may point to an older age, specifically its position on the Hertzsprung Russell diagram and its surface gravity compared to predictions for stars with a range of ages. These comparisons imply an older age of 220 plus or minus 100 million years and in turn a mass of 50. Jupiter masses easily within the brown dwarf Mars Regime, not planet Regime. Both age estimates may have significant uncertainties, while Gepa Andromeda has been identified as a Colombo member. Its galactic coordinates may be outliers compared to most Colombo members although they are quite similar to those for HR 8799. Evolutionary models may systematically overestimate the ages of stars like Gepa Andromedae. The discovery of Gepa Andromedae b has impacted current stellar theory. Astrophysics have been unsure about the maximum size for a star that can harbor objects created from a protoplanetary disk. This discovery confirms that stars that do so can be at least as massive as Gepa Andromedae which is about 2.5 times the Sun's mass. If Gepa Andromeda b proves to be an exoplanet, it will be one of the very few that have been directly imaged thus far.